Hello and a very warm welcome to all of you who are fascinated or interested in the world of numbers, especially the Chaldean numerology, which shows us the underlying patterns of the universe, the secret codes, if you may. And I am a certified numerologist in Chaldean numerology. My name is Simon August, and I have always been very fascinated by numbers. It's something that felt very easily to me. So this is some of the things that um, I'm very interested in myself. So hopefully you can share the same passion as me. So there's three karmic rhythms that all of us are born into based on the year we're born in. And let's start with the number one, the most common um, thing that you can be born into. You can be born into a year that starts with a compound number of number one. So let's take an example that could be 1990. So one plus nine plus nine plus zero, that's equal to 28 slash one. Because you always try to pull it down to just one number. So if you're born in 1990, or let's say 1981, for example, that's a 19 one, then you start in this rhythm here. So the mathematics behind this is that if you're born in this cycle, you are born into a doubling cycle. So you have one year when you focus on success and starting new things. Then you go to the double of one, that's two. Then you spend two years of your life uh, with focus on more feeling emotions and uh, taking care of yourself and um, sort of being more sensitive. It's the moon that's uh, behind or an archetype of the number two is the moon. Very receptive. It doesn't create its own light. It's receptive from the light from the sun. Then double of number two. That's of course number four. Then you spend four years in being more creative, innovative, and maybe also have a lot of changes in your life. And the double of number four is of course eight. And this is the big karmic rhythm. You have eight years where I usually see that a lot of things happen in the eight rhythm here, that people have divorce or get pregnant or get married or all these big things in life happen usually in this period of time. The double of number eight is a surprisingly number seven because double of eight is 16 and then the compound number is 16, seven. So it looks like that, this. The double of 16 is 32. So it goes like this, 32 equal to three plus two equal to five. And the double of 32 is equal to 64, one, six plus four equals one. So what you might be able to observe right here is that this creates a laying down eight, an infinity simple, or you can also see as a three dimensional or oh, like a torus figure. So a torus figure is like a donut shape and it's the, um, from the smallest to the biggest thing in life on a physical level is almost created, always created by a, a torus figure. So you can see it in the magnetic field of the earth where it goes into the, the poles, the magnetic field. You can also see it in an atom. You could see it as an example of an apple. It also goes in. And in the physical body, the auric field, the electromagnetic field also goes in on the top of the head and in the, under the feet. So this is uh, very, like you can see there's a lot of changes going on here. On the physical level, those people born into the most normal rhythm in a year that gives a compound number one, two, four, eight, seven, or five. So it could also be 2002, that's equal to four. So it could also start the karmic rhythm here. Um, creates a lot of changes, so it's not that stable. Then you have a more stable period of time. If you're born into a year that gives the number three, or the number six. 
So the number three is quite easy because the double of uh, three is six and the double of six is 12 three. So it goes back here. So it constantly goes back and forth between having three years spent with having focus on success and learning new stuff and ambition. And then you have six years where you're more focused on the family, focused on healing, um, all those more like home and steady and safe things. So what is interesting is that it's also mm, sort of the emotional level. It's like behind or the mental level. It's like emotional and it's like male and, and female and male here. And it's also behind the physical cycle. So one plus two equals three. Two plus four equals six. Four plus eight is twelve three again. So you can see that it like it's connected all of it. That's the... Um, uh, second karmic rhythm so you can also check your own uh, date of birth check your own birth year and then you can see which rhythm you are in and working in then we have a rhythm that's behind it that's the number nine i'm actually born in 1989 which creates 27 slash nine so i'm born in this rhythm the number nine is just like still it's like looking here out of the on the world and it doesn't move at all it's like the teacher it's it's mastering something because it's been through all these rhythms been on through all these and now it's stopped here so the double of n number nine is 18 and the compound on number is number eight, nine again so every time it doubles it just creates its own number again and again so it doesn't move anywhere and the funny thing is that three plus six equal nine. So it's like behind again as the more spiritual level. It's like looking from behind things. So this is quite interesting. If you're born in number nine, you're more in a stable rhythm. You are here to stand up for justice. You're here to um, be a teacher and you're here to finish things. You're not here to learn new things necessarily, but we're all here to learn things, but we're here to also come with all the experience and be a teacher. Well, of course, all the other rhythms can also be a teacher. Uh, but this is from a different perspective. Then you can also see there's different numbers in in neurology. Like, where do, do they come from? And these numbers come from nature. So I've shown you here the Taurus figure behind the physical world, the emotional level, the spiritual level. Um, but also we have something called Fibonacci numbers. So Fibonacci was an Italian mathemati mathematician who discovered sort of the mathematics behind the spiral figure, the golden mean, and um, how the Fibonacci numbers are all over the world in nature. You can see it in snails, the house they built. You can see it in... Uh, tornadoes, you can see it in all these uh, different kinds of uh, things happening in nature. So the Fibonacci numbers are quite easily. It's like you have number one, start number one, and then you add number one to it. So you have actually a zero here, and then you have a number one here, and number one plus one equals two, one plus two equals three, three plus two equals five, 3 plus 5 equals 8. So you can see all the time we're adding the number from uh, before. So in the beginning, the growth is not very big, it's like going smaller. But then something happened here. Uh, we have 3, five, 5, and 8, which is called a money triangle in Chaldean numerology. So that's called that because we have the smartness, we have the strategic thinking of number three here, um, where we're creating plans and and wanting to go and expand on a physical level. Then we have number five here, which stands in Candida numerology for communication, for going and do network with people, meeting with people and selling your product. And then you have number eight here, which is about um, being very good at administrating, uh, making sure that there's something that's um, being taken care of, the systems are being taken care of, and everything's in balance. And it's also very good with money, number eight, usually. 
then all of a sudden something happens here. We have the 5 plus 3 equal 8, and 5 plus 8 is equal 13. You can see there's a big jump here. It's like really starting to grow. So this is called number 8, number 5, and number 13 is called the World Conqueror. So this is an energy that's very fast growing. So if you can see that in your personal numerologist, uh, if you can see your personal and uh, numbers at this combination, you can usually see people that are gonna grow massively all of a sudden. They can't think small, they have to think big. So actually one of the persons that are an example of this is Oprah Winfrey. She has these numbers in her numerology. So she had to think big and she had to go worldwide global and uh, she, she, could, she could have like overnight success and it was very important that she built up her systems so like you have number eight making sure that the systems are okay so when the big growth come and you have to transform all the old and come with the new um the number new the new things are the 13 4 here uh that the things are okay you have the base okay also there's some interesting numbers here uh, I especially like these two numbers. I use them as sound healing, 89 and 144 hertz. Um, the 144 hertz is also reflected in that some religious beliefs said that 144,000 people will return to heaven. Uh, if you see it, Jehovah's Witnesses. But what it actually means is that it's like a number that we were divided into soul groups when we came from the oneness and we came from 144,000 soul groups. So this is the 144, it's quite a special number here. And it creates number nine going here. So that's like a full circle, full cycle here. So you see that they got some of it right, like the 104,000 soul groups not 140,000 people you can be a lot of people in the soul groups you can be millions or billions of people in the soul groups but we're all going back to the oneness the number nine here going back to the stillness the one point and you can also see what's behind all this behind all the the black dots here is the space the unity so this is something that is very interesting to look into your karmic rhythm. Are you in the more uh, more chaotic, more changing rhythm? Or are you born into the more stable, 3, 6 or the number 9? And um, also like see, you can count the numbers forward and see what rhythm you are in right now. So it could be that you are, for example, in the number 8 rhythm right now. Uh, I look into Denmark's uh, numerology and we are in the number eight cycle and we're going to change in 2023. So a lot of big things are going to happen here. Could be, for example, government changing, could be health systems changing, could be um, a lot of things happening. Like um, we have the crisis with the, the virus right now. That's a big thing. That's something that usually happen in number eight here. And we have to look into, um, it's like, a, it's not a punishment, but it's something that we have, we have taken different actions and now we have the consequences happening right now. Before we move on to the more spiritual aspect of number seven, intuition. So we just have to finish things off and learn the gift and the wisdom that's in the different obstacles that we face sometimes. So this was an uh, introduction to some of the numbers. You can find more about this on my homepage and I hope you found this very interesting. Chaldean numerology is a big universe or a world that once you discover it, you'll discover that um, a lot of things can be explained by these numbers and also that you cannot, you, you can move with the flow instead of moving against the flow. So the path of le le least resistance. So all my love, my name is Simon August and I wish you a wonderful day.